I was talking or chatting with a friend on Facebook about this type of aquarium. I kind of built it. I didn't build the glass part. I put silk, which is uh, the white part is clay. The kind that I found for giveaway in a school lab once. Dirt from my own pots and uh, sand rocks from the old fish tank. There's a little froggy here. I don't know if you'll see him. Yeah. He just swam away. This is the wooden fish aquarium top that we had when we bought it. I have some banana leaves to cover it. I don't want birds to fly here and peck stuff out. I have to take this out. This is a plant I have. Its roots are uh, on the... <laughs> yeah. Its roots are kind of there. I need more of these to filter the water more. And actually that clay may have been a bad idea. It's really silty. So there's some stuff going on in here. Let me move this top, Giovanna. Here's a goldfish pecking. I put bugs in there that I find. And uh, frogs. I'm hoping this, this can be a mosquito trap, like just kind of get mosquitoes and put their eggs to get eaten. Or the mosquitoes themselves get eaten. We'll see what other fish we bring or find, frogs. I might lower the water level just to uh, just to uh, make it easier for frogs to live here. These floating things are for the frogs to use if they want to. Also maybe insulators. It's part of the same banana leaf. We just kind of sawed it into a few sections so it can float, whatever, provide atmosphere. And uh, that's where it is this far. It'll get clearer when I get some more roots in there, inshallah. I just need an apparatus I can use to float. And for that, I'm going to recycle some of my remaining plastic bags. I'm off plastic, but I have some plastic remaining. I want to put it to a long-term use since it doesn't biodegrade. 